Welcome to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. You'll have to excuse me, but I'm a little bit distracted with the idea of moms and babies right now. I'm about to become a grandma for the second time, and a little girl is arriving sometime in the next three weeks. And that, all by itself, is what inspired me to read and share this read aloud with you. I hope you enjoy it. Oceans of Love, written by Janet Lawler, illustrated by Holly Clifton Brown. Imagine moms beneath the waves with lots of love to share. Whatever might they say or do to show how much they care. Hermit crab shops here and there to find a roomy shell. She gently backs her baby in. Ah, uh, now doesn't that fit well? Mother Minnow darts and dips in every tidal pool to place her little swimmers in the perfect minnow school. Manta Mama flaps her fins to teach her tiny ray graceful moves to swim and skim and glide around all day. Mother Clam may tell her tots, now hurry, open wide. Dinner gets delivered when there's plankton on the tide. Dolphin playdates last all day and mom keeps kitties busy doing twists and jumps and flips till everyone is dizzy. Octopus has many arms to choose a hidden spot where wee ones get untangled if they're tied up in a knot. Mother Whale will blow her top to spout her special love. Her cat stays snuggled by her side, or sometimes just above. Mama Shark says, hold your fins above the waterline. She keeps her pups together as they're heading out to dine. Barnacle assures her young it's quite all right to cling to rocks and docks and crates and gates. In fact, most anything. Jellyfish grows tentacles that help her capture food. They also seem to wave goodbye to her departing brood. But though we keep imagining what ocean mamas do, no little fish that swims the sea is loved as much as you. Yes, I did link this book back to the ocean theme that we followed all summer at Barron Public Library. And I want to thank you for putting up with my grandmother moment. Um, I can't wait for that little peanut to arrive and life is going to be a little richer because of it. Just want to make sure that you all know that there is a big bash on August 31st at the Barron Public Library. If you're anywhere near us, I hope you'll join us. We're going to wrap up the oceans. We're going to celebrate. There's bounce house and food and crafts and an opportunity to close the summer on a really high note. If you follow us on YouTube and listen to our Friday Read Alouds, both myself and Amanda will be there. So be sure you stop and find us and introduce yourself. Until next time, this is Miss Patricia. Keep reading.